Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today you know it's monthly favorites. Now last month I didn't do my monthly favorites so this time I'm just uh, making a combined monthly favorites for my last month and this month because there were festivals which were end of last month and then there are festival all month. So basically I used a lot of makeup last month also and I'm still using a lot of makeup and skincare this month. So let's see what all I have been using the most and I will try to keep it as short as I can because or else this video can go up to one hour so grab a snack and let's get started the first product is not makeup related neither skincare related but I absolutely love using this product whenever I'm filming making videos creating looks is my mirror so this is my sheen ka hello sunshine mirror now you can see the condition I have still cleaned it before this video but then this is how it looks and it's quite handy comfortable I carry with this I, I carry this mirror whenever I'm traveling so this is something very handy and I went ahead and bought another one <laughs> so yeah this is like my first favorite which I, I I think I cannot live without that is why I bought a backup for myself next up are two primers I've been using the most and mostly I have used these primers because of two reasons one reason is this one the master prime by Maybelline because it is more of a cream finish so if I'm going very full coverage in matte foundation I love to use this one because this really gives me a proper glow to the skin it's not over drying it's not very thick it's very light with the heavy foundation so this is like my go-to when festive seasons are around and the next one I've been using the most is L'Oreal Base Magique this is one I use the days when I'm wearing a little uh, less heavy foundation but a full coverage so this one gives me a very smoother base pores are minimized you cannot see actually anything it's so blurring so again a nice one so these are the two things I've been wearing the most next up are the two foundations <laughs> I think they will get over they'll get finished one is the L'Oreal True Match like if you are aware of me how I have been uh, wearing my foundations for my festive looks and all that you know this is my go-to foundation so this is this time of the year I use L'Oreal True Match the most and this is my second bottle so finishing a foundation is a big deal and I have finished one bottle already so this is another buy I love this foundation and you can see the condition of the bottle I've been wearing this the reason of me wearing this foundation more often during this time of the year that it has a little flexible illuminating shimmer which is not seen but it just gives you that right amount of glow on your skin and it looks very healthy and very festive -y. so that is why I like it the shade I'm holding is golden amber next foundation which i use the most after my true match because of its shade and secondly the way it sits on my face it's not a medium coverage it is a full coverage but it just that it gives the right amount of full coverage to me this is the pack cosmetic foundation now getting a shade in pack cosmetic is not difficult but getting a right shade by just seeing it online is can get a little tricky so i would suggest you go to the store check out then buy the shade. I bought it randomly online and I got the right shade. So this is the shade 4.0. Amazing. Lovely. I love the staying power of this foundation. So if you're looking to go to foundations and which cannot go wrong are the two liquid foundations right in front of you. So they are amazing. Next up are the three blushes. Now don't worry. I'm not sweating. That's my perfume. <laughs> so i just spilled a little extra so i didn't wiped it off i like the scent of it so the next are the three blushes which i've been wearing the most are one is the miss claire one you have seen my navratri videos you have seen my uh, karvachot look you have seen every look i have created so far past two months i've been wearing miss claire brushes almost in every video so this is how it is this is the shade 32 
they're not easily available okay next blush which i have been wearing the most is by flower beauty again a lovely blush i really like the texture of this for my skin if you're a combination to oily skin you will enjoy these blushes they're really nice yes it is a little expensive but i still feel if you want to just buy one blush so you can invest in but if you're a person like me who keeps buying blushes keeps buying highlighter then i would not suggest you to go for expensive blushes but all in all the quality is very good here so i'm not mad at it it's good next is my australis blush in the shade sinful practically speaking when i uh, got this blush i was not quite a fan of this shade in the pan but as when i started using it i just got obsessed with it so personally this shade looks very mauvey whiny in the pan but like on the uh cheek it's not you see the shade it's very subtle but it's something very different and i really love wearing this blush even in daytime it's very good don't go by the pan on the skin it doesn't show the shade it shows something different only really altogether so it's a different shade altogether but it's a very very nice one next up are two face powders i wear the most one has already hit pan is by la gold pro face this is how it is you already see let's see it is <laughs> It's not even 6 months I have bought this powder. I bought this powder like 3 months back and I've already hit pan. So you can imagine the amount of powder I'm using. So this is an amazing one. A lot of you keep asking me my shade. It's creamy natural. Creamy natural. So this is an amazing one. I absolutely love Villa Repurchase definitely. It's the perfect combination of a pressed powder and a loose powder. So it really sets in things flawlessly amazing it doesn't get tacky it doesn't get patchy when you're applying the powder it just lays on perfectly next up is my newest baby and not very new but this one is also i am using the most is my makeup revolution bake and bloat in the shade banana this is how it is it's the right amount of banana like it's not way too dark it's not way too light it's perfect for my skin so i really love using this powder under my eyes on my forehead this area and i do carry this powder whenever i'm going out because this is like a lifesaver fixer i don't like to put a napkin or a tissue on my face i would rather go in with the powder on my face and because by putting a powder you are just long lasting your makeup but by putting a napkin you're not doing anything you're just taking the excess and after one hour again the state of your face will be the same so best is always carry a powder in your bag and just fix your face this is another one amazing i absolutely love will be buying one more shade in it but so far i'm enjoying it next up is a bronzer now i have been using a lot of bronzers of lately but this one is the one i have used the most is by physician formula this is the physician formula butter bronzer this is how it is amazing bronzer amazing finish this is in the shade deep deep bronzer lovely amazing this sits on your face so well so well that it's not i would not say it's a very matte matte bronzer it has a little velvet texture to it so when you apply it on your face it really gives nice glow but that shimmer chunks and all that you lot see on your face so it's a very nice form of sun kissed bronzer in a matte form so i highly suggest you if you're looking for a good bronzer it's very difficult to get a good bronzer in india for indian women because our skin tones are not like white white so not everything works on our skin we need some shades so i think this shade comes very handy and very good for our skin tones so definitely try the shade deep and i'm very glad they launched more shades in india next up i have a fixing spray by nyx this is the dewy finish one amazing i have not used it today because i didn't need but for my, all my festive looks or for that matter if i'm wearing a very matte look and i want to look little natural this is the fixing spray and secondly the best part about this is that it really works well with my skin type not many dewy finish fixing spray works good with oily skin but this one works wonderful amazing lovely 
So if you're looking for a good fixing spray, I would suggest you try the next one. You will not be disappointed. Next one is a mascara, which I've been wearing the most and I'm wearing it today also, is the Maybelline, the Falsy Volume Express. There are many mascaras I've been wearing and you have seen me wearing a lot of mascaras, but this is the one which I wear the most and I don't see it anymore on Nykaa. I don't know why <laughs> Maybelline is removing a lot of their existing mascaras and getting new ones, but at least it always happens with me. So this is amazing, lovely, inexpensive, pocket friendly. So I have been wearing this mascara a lot. Next up is a Kajal by Nykaa, the I am bold. Today also I'm wearing this Kajal, amazing finish, very smooth, very pigmented, deepest black. What more I would say about this? This is a nice baby. I'm obsessed with this Kajal. I'm obsessed. If anything is closer to this Kajal, it's my Color Bar Smoky Collection Kajal. They are also very smooth, but they are for $8.50. This one is inexpensive. This is very pocket friendly. Next up is a glitter eyeshadow, which I wear the most. And you would have seen me wearing this glitter eyeshadow in my Karva Chauk look also. And during my Navratri looks also, I have been wearing some glitters and some shimmers on my eyes because I'm all about glitz nowadays. I don't know why. Maybe that festive vibe has gone into me. So this is a shade called Juvenile by Colourpop. Amazing, lovely shade. If you're looking for good quality liquid eyeshadows, I think you should try the Colourpop one. They are better. They are really good. This is how it is. Yes, I have bought the Nykaa ones, but let me use it more. Then I'll be... Um, Telling you, they, do they even fall into my favorites? But yes, I am using them also. But this one is Palm Diggity Love. Amazing. Next up is a lip sleeping mask. This is by Laneige. Now, the amount of lipsticks I have worn. I have worn... I don't know the count also. Because I have been wearing lipstick almost every day. Past one one and a half months and till now so I have been just wearing lipsticks every day and in between I did a lip swatch video also so like you know there are days when I want way too many lipsticks so my lips do hurt I'm a human being this comes as a fixer and then I did a little lip sleeping a uh, lip mask voila thing also which I didn't enjoy much <laughs> But this is really nice. That's like one time, but this is like lifetime, I feel. So if you're looking for a nice sleeping pack for your lips, I think you should try Laneige. I don't know, not many people talk about Laneige as a very high profile brand. I don't know, it's a very good brand. It has amazing stuff. I've tried their eye creams, I've tried their lip smart, I have a sleeping pack also. It's good all in all, I really like the brand. It's a Korean brand, so try it if you want to try a few products next up is a nail paint which is really off the chart this nail paint i have worn the most during one month is by nika in the shade blueberry frosting i don't know why i was wearing this shade a lot i was just putting on this shade maybe because it was just standing out on my nails and i really like my nails to little stand out uh, it should not be matching matching with my dress. I really like like people should notice my nails But I think the shade was doing that to my nails. That is why I was wearing this a lot What I do basically apply a nail paint I go out and I come back and I remove it immediately I never keep a nail paint overnight on my nails this I have just started I don't know why but I feel like this you can avoid your nails getting yellow or I don't know. I, I just like it to remove it. So yeah, this nail paint I have used the most. I think it's going to get over. But I absolutely love it. I love Nykaa's matte nail paints. I think they have nailed it to the perfection. Not many brands do it the way Nykaa has done it. So I think this was the only makeup I have to show you guys. Let's move on to... Yeah, that's the eyeshadow palettes which I will show you at the end. Next up, which I have been using the most is the L'Oreal Paris Black Instant Root Concealer Therapy. <sighs> I'm not a big fan of its texture because, because it gets a little stiffer or drying. But for instant use, this comes as a life saving. So some things are not as per your expectation, but 
दिखाने के लिए ठीक है तो ये दिखाने वाला सामान है तो बेसिकली इफ यू डोंट वांट योर वाइट स्टैंड टू लुक एंड यू डोंट हैव टाइम टू कलर योर हेयर बिकॉज फॉर कलरिंग यू नीड एटलीस्ट मिनिमम वन आवर विद योर वॉश सो आई डोंट हैव वन आवर एवरी डे टू डू दैट एंड आई कैन नॉट कलर माई हेयर एवरी डे एंड आई डोंट बिलीव इन कलरिंग माई हेयर एवरी मंथ आई डू इट लाइक वंस इन फोर मंथ्स और सिक्स मंथ्स नॉट every 3 months so this comes as a very good fixer and this is the shade black i love the way it shows my hair it is that i don't like to put my hands in my hair after putting this because i feel it will dry so just putting that across in front of you next up is another interesting product it's related to skin is the barber's club black charcoal peel off mask this is how it is i've never shown this applying on my channel because i don't know whenever i think i should do an instagram video related to this i always skip it i miss it so i thought this time i'll just talk about this in my favorites hey yes, this is good like i use only this as a charcoal peel off for my nose and my chin area i don't use it all over my face it's not needed so it really removes my blackheads or whiteheads i don't suffer with excessive blackheads or whiteheads but anything is happening on my nose area or my chin it removes perfectly like today i did this and it got removed so i really like this one there are many brands who are selling this but after reading many comments reviews all that stuff i got this one and this worked well this will retail you for 399 but you will get it in some good discount on my cup next up is a hair oil it's my positive root therapy i have done a full review on this oil i absolutely love this oil you can see the hair texture of mine it's so good improved it's fluffy it's voluminized and it's back to square so i highly suggest you try it see girls i cannot promise you or guarantee you that it's going to work wonderful on your hair because everybody's hairs are different but my hair are treated color it works good for me so i'm all up for it i'm going to finish the oil i'm going to buy a new one but this one is amazing lovely i've done a full review i will link it down so maybe i'll just put it here or here if there's always a confusion next up is my moisturizing cream by garnier wrinkle lift now this is my matlab ye cream to main aankh band karke laga lungi is cream ko lagate waqt i don't have to think 100 times लाइक अदर मॉइस्चराइजर्स आई स्टिल थिंक ये लगाऊं कि ये लगाऊं बट इसको लगाने से पहले मुझे सोचना नहीं पड़ता इट वर्क्स वेल अंडर माई मेकअप इट वर्क्स वेल विद माई सनस्क्रीन इट डज बज अराउंड सो इट्स अ परफेक्ट परफेक्ट मॉइस्चराइजर एंड सिंस आई मीन टू माई एजिंग दिस वर्क्स रियली वेल फॉर माई स्किन यू कैन सी माई स्किन इट्स फ्लॉलेस at least for me it's flawless so it's good next up is another moisturizer which i've been wearing the most is my hydro fresh bar l'oreal amazing in this scorching heat of delhi you need these oily curls you need this in your life you will see a marked difference in your skin and it is so light on your face and it really instantly boost your skin so i really like this one this is amazing this is how it looks from inside don't worry about the shade in this it's not going to show up on your skin it just melts into your skin like nothing so amazing lovely i just love putting this moisturizer nowadays and last but not the least we're down to the last product of his skin care is an eye cream this is the innisfree olive real eye cream amazing I am almost at the brim of it. I'm going to finish it off. So nowadays I put this all over my face also in the night. I don't know why because when I do a lot of makeup sometimes I want to just go very light with my skin care because I do feel a little heavy after some time. So what I do I just take an eye cream, apply it under my eyes, on my eyes and then spread it all over my face. That really works well for my skin and eye cream will definitely work good for your skin because it is light. It is made for sensitive area of your face. So if you haven't tried that eye cream trick you should to do that you will love it this one is my extreme love is my calvin klein perfume in sheer beauty amazing i love this perfume it's so good it's so elegant it's so sober it's so supple it's the perfect perfume for any woman i feel 
if anybody asks me which perfume to go for nowadays, I do suggest them go for this one. It's very good. Yes, I have many other perfumes, but this one is pocket friendly also. So it's an amazing buy. I love it. I do use it and also I'm wearing it. As I said, many <laughs> perfume because it's hot. It's burning. Okay. Next up are the three palettes. Now I have used almost all the palettes during past one, one and a half months. And uh, I really don't want to show you all the palettes or else it's eyeshadow palette ka video. Ban so, but th these are three palettes which I have think used almost with every other palette I have used. Like if I have used a palette of Colourpop, then I have used one more use kiya hi hai uske saath. So basically these are the three palettes I have used the most. The first one is the Nykaa Just Wink It palette in the shade Sweet Sunday. This is how the palette looks like. Now the reason we are using this palette is very simple. These three shades, basically these four shades and this shimmer, I can just be with this palette. And this one, lovely, lovely combination. I absolutely recommend you Just Wink It by Nykaa eyeshadow palette. I've done a full review on this. I'm not going to talk too much. It's an amazing pigmented palette and I think you should give a shot once. Yes, price points are bolenge. It is 1499 but nowadays I'm seeing some discount on these palettes also. So grab it. It's a discount time but amazing palette. Next up is my Makeup Revolution Marvelous Mattes palette which looks something like this. Now guys, uh, practically speaking, let's be real here. I've done a full review on these. This is a wonderful palette, but it can get a little tricky when you're working with this palette because colorful shades may look very colorful in the pan, but it may not look colorful on your eyes. So you have to find your trips and tricks, how to put it rightly or how to do it. Now what happens at times even I pick up a shade and it doesn't show the way it is supposed to, so, but I know my fixing. So the best way to apply these shadows are always prep your eye with a good concealer, a little lighter one, and then go in with a packing motion and then blend. I think you will achieve the look because with me it works like that. Do I recommend this palette? Yes, because it is pocket friendly. but. Can you get more bright palettes in the market? Yes, there are many other brands. So the best brand I can suggest to you, which is not very easily available in India, but if you can get it from an Instagram page, is Colourpop. Colourpop have amazing bright palettes also. Last palette is by Colourpop, which I have used the most. I never thought I will be using this palette so much. And the reason of me buying this palette was very simple that I didn't have much glitters with me. I didn't have any glitter, press pigments with me. And I wanted one palette which can solve my issue. So this is the Colourpop <laughs> press pigment palette. Now I don't remember the name of this palette. I will mention it somewhere. This is how it is. Bomb diggity. With these, you don't need glue. You really don't need glue. You just pick it up with your hands and place it. It's there and it's not going to budge. The only one thing I would like to mention with this palette is never do your face makeup first. Do the eyes and then clean up your face and then start with your face. Because while the application, since you're not putting any glue, some of the chunks will start falling on your face while the application. But once it is stuck to your eyes, this baby is not coming out. So absolutely love. I paid $20, uh, basically I paid 2100 something rupees for this palette. The original price of these palettes are $61, calculate per shadow. So it was a good discount. And now also you can get for $20, it's available on Colourpop. Amazing, bomb diggity. Let's jump on to some lipsticks because I have I don't know, six lipsticks to show you guys. I had more lipstick, but I thought if I start showing you more lipstick, then it'll be a lipstick video, as I said for eyeshadows. The first lipstick is by Nykaa Ultra Matte. This is how it is. This is the shade Cove Cove. And i just give you a hand swatch. This is how Cove Cove looks. This I was wearing for my Karwa Chauk look. Lovely shade. I love wearing these shades when festivals, festivals are around because everybody is wearing. So you're not going to look something, oh my god, it's the feeling. So I'm just saying, don't think about others. If you feel you're rocking the red, you wear red. 
डोंट थिंक उसने रेड नहीं पहनी है मैंने रेड क्यों पहनी बिकॉज अलियर आई यूज टू थिंक लाइक दिस बट नाउ आई एम लाइक लेट मी मे बी दैट पर्सन सामने वाला पर्सन मे जस्ट गेट इंस्पायर्ड एंड स्टार्ट वेरिंग रेड सो दिस इज एन अमेजिंग शेड पीपल हु डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर एक्सैक्ट रेड आई थिंक यू शुड गो फॉर द शेड कोको इट्स नॉट प्रॉपर रेड बट इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ पिंक बेरीज एंड रेड Next up is another red which I wear the most, and I've done a nice swatch on my Instagram also, and I've done a mini review on this lipstick is by ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin, the Bretman Rock Collection. Ooh, I'm fumbling now. In the shade of Wig, this is my go-to red. I can never go wrong with this red. Never. This is the red. This is the perfect red for any Indian woman. I feel. it's made made to perfection which doesn't have any orange it doesn't have any pink it is a red with berry undertones so i absolutely like them and it's very difficult to get off it's very difficult to get rid of this lipstick from your lips next is another color pop ultra matte lip in the shade more better yeah more better again lovely amazing shade this is how it is more better when you're wearing some uh, golden looks or silver looks or for that matter any kind of look you try this kind of shade they really outstand the lipstick actually shows in and it doesn't show your eyes differently or for that matter your lips differently everything looks perfect so amazing shade i love it mm, love love Next two lipsticks are by Sugar Cosmetic the combination I'm wearing currently and this combination I've been wearing a lot because one of my friend recommended this combination to me because she and me had lipstick holders she is not a influencer she's just a friend of mine and we are friends past I don't know how many years now it's more than 8 9 years and uh, she suggested me do you wear your mary poppin i said no because i don't feel very comfortable so she said mix your scarlet so what i do i mix scarlet o'hara and mary poppin together and this is how it comes so first i put scarlet o'hara and then i put mary poppin and this shade comes out so you have been seeing me wearing you will be seeing me wearing this combination in many other videos of mine because i love wearing this combination it just brightens up my face like i'm still wearing a bindi i'm still wearing a little eye like a little shimmer on my eye but still this shade stands me out it doesn't makes me look fluorescenty or washed out it's like the perfect combination of two colors so absolutely love and my kid is royally awake Don't you worry. He is never alone. He's playing with my maid. Next up, I have a shade called Boho by Nyka Matulast. Amazing mauve pink. Let's watch it for you. This is how Boho is. Lovely, lovely shade. Again, I have worn this shade so much. I think I have to buy a big size in it. So that this is the benefit of you buying. What do you say? smaller version so that you can make up your mind and decide yes kya mujhe ab is shade ki zarurat hai should i buy so that is why you should buy minis and then buy big sizes because sare mix khareed liye and then you are not even wearing those shades that's a waste of money uh, so yeah these were the lipsticks and i don't i don't, i don't think so i'm left with anything else yeah it was a huge monthly favorites but i hope you all loved watching this interesting monthly favorites will be back soon with something more exciting something more interesting till then you take care of yourself and bye bye